today we're going to take a look at the highly requested, well overdue Bugs 5W. Hey everyone, I'm Nate. And I'm Abby. Amelia's taking a nap and Popeye's battening down the hatches. We're the RC sailors. Welcome to our RC family. Guys, today we're going to take a look at this drone that you've been asking us to review for months now. This is the Bugs 5W. It's a GPS ready to fly brushless camera drone with the ability to tilt your camera up and down from the controller or within the app. Basically, if you're buying a GPS drone today, you shouldn't settle for anything less than this in quality. I don't know why they're still making them with brush motors and gears. This doesn't have any of that stuff to worry about. Brushless motors, and it comes in at a really good price point. So, if you're interested, we'll have this linked in the description box below. But you know us and our channel. Lately, we've had so many bad drones, and we've told you guys about them. So many to avoid. So we're just trying to take a look at stuff now that we really think will do well. This should. This doesn't have any reason not to uh, at least hit our level expectations. I'm not sure if it's going to blow us away, but at the very least, this should be a good quality drone. It's been months since we've had one of those, other than things that we've re revisited, like our Hubson Zeno. Uh, but anyway, I've already got this calibrated and plugged in. It's very easy to do. If you've ever done any Bugs drone before, uh, this is just like all the others. Remember to hold the red power lock key, turn on your transmitter, and plug in the battery for the very first time to bind it up. It says in the instructions, but a lot of people kind of overlook that because it's a bit of a unique setup. Well, without further ado, we're just going to fly in this field, have some fun, and see if this drone is worth your hard-earned money or not. I don't have anything to complain about with this drone yet. Uh, you know, we have indication on our screen that we're recording. We also have indication on my transmitter that we're recording. So all that is really good. With the press of one button, I should be able to start the motors. And then another press of another button, and I can auto take off. So this is all hands-free, not touching a single control right now. We're drifting though, and that's because my GPS satellite mode is off. I've turned it on with a little slide of a switch on the transmitter. That locked in. And I am going to now uh, fly this out where it's going to make it a little bit easier for Abby to record and me to see the drone. So I'm just going to let it hover here for a minute because we've seen so many drones lately do this crazy toilet bowl where it gets out of control within the first 30 seconds of flight. And uh, this is a good test for that. Now I've seen this on some websites. Now this is all it. I'm totally hands free. It's it's going down just a bit there. You, you notice it's going down quite a, quite a lot actually. So I'm going to juice it up before it touches down don't need it to land. Don't know why I did that. It's just continually coming down some. Um, hmm, that's strange. And I can't trim that out or anything. You cannot trim um, a GPS drone's altitude hold. I don't know why it's dropping. That's a bit of a bit of a disappointment, but it's not going to completely deter me from continuing to fly and review this drone. I've seen it in some websites for about 200 bucks, but at least through our link, it should be about 150, 160 or so. So anyway, uh, let's, let's fly it out a bit farther. If all it's doing is slowly dropping in altitude, that doesn't bother me at all. I wanna test the range a little bit, video quality, add a decent range, and just see how it does a bit further away. So I've let go of the controls there. This is all it. I flew out this way because I've seen some smoke off in the distance and you probably can't see it from the drone's perspective yet. But if Abby would pan down directly below the drone, you can see what I'm seeing. I can smell that. It's right there. very strong. It smells like burning rubber or something. So I'm gonna fly up, 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 up and aim my camera up some and see if we can see that smoke from the drone. It's actually making me sneeze. <laughs> You'll well, be alright. I'm good. I just, that smoke is making me sneeze. I can see the smoke from the drone. It's off way in the distance behind, uh, it's El Hassa or whatever, whatever that men's club is. It's way back there behind that. Well, let's take a look at the baseball field uh, while Abby is trying to pan up to see it. You know, I, I've got really good control over the camera here. And at this height, I really can't tell if it's dropping or not. I can only tell when it's, you know, 10 feet or so in the air and I can 
see the tree line behind it. So it's not a noticeable drop at all when you're flying the drone, although, you know, fair enough, it's kind of annoying that it does that. We want to pan around a little bit and just get a shot of the area. I'm going to look up a hair with my camera. And let's pan around because camera drone. You know we have a lot of telemetry on screen. I like that. There's the school. Beautiful area. Very beautiful. There's a construction area over there. And, oh, it looks like they're maybe working on some farmland over here. Hey, let's go check out the farm. Let's see if it's crop, if they're planting crops or what's going on. They shouldn't be planting crops in August. No, they shouldn't. But September there's, by the time you guys see this. From my perspective, be their harvest. Um, I don't know exactly what they're doing there, but they've definitely put some type of pattern. Look at the, see my, see my screen, Abby? I'm afraid to look at your screen. Oh, you're now. fine, you're fine. Here, I want to pan down cool. some. That's cool. I, don't, uh, I actually away. lost my video connection, but obviously I've maintained a good, strong line of sight on the drone. And there we go, we're back on video. See, now look at my screen. Check cool. it out, the pattern. I don't know what's going on there, but... <laughs> Okay, that's a pretty good distance, I guess, for this. You know, being that it's not a DJI on light bridge technology or anything, you don't want to fly it too far away. And I'd say this is about the max range you'd want to go because from me to the drone, there's absolutely nothing in between me and it blocking the signal in any way. So that's, uh, that's about it for the range. I'm going to fly back some now in hopes to get our video signal back. Do you see it, Abby? I see it with my eyes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But I zoomed out on the camera and couldn't get it back. <laughs> That's all right. We'll get it. We'll fly close here and get everything back in shot for you. Now, hopefully, you guys can see that you know we lost the signal with our screen recording. Yes, but also I'm hoping it's still recording to the micro SD card. So you that still is, don't have a signal? Like, I still don't have a signal. Thing? Yeah, nothing. It's mm. completely dead, and that's not good. That when it flies back into range like this. There, now my signal has come back, so I am happy that it's back. I don't have to recording reset the, the phone. Yes. <laughs> yep. So, uh, I don't have to reset the phone or anything. But look at this. Every time I let my hands off the controls, at that height, it comes down. It wants to land. I am pushing up full throttle now to counter that. Let's see if it does it even higher. And I just maybe didn't notice it super high in the sky. I'm letting it drop. I'm letting it drop. And it is coming down some. Okay, let's try a follow me or a circle point uh, and see if that prevents it from falling. Nate doesn't have his wireless mic on today. <laughs> I'll, just, I'll just do this. I'll just what? do this because there's nothing, there's no power lines around us or anything. Yeah. So I should be able to do a circle point here. Wild. I guess they have all the lines for the school buried. That's really That's cool, isn't it? Crazy. Well, let's do something a little bit better. Let's go out to the let's go out to the baseball field. I'd rather I would rather record the baseball field than just you and me standing here in a circle. So <laughs> I'm gonna fly up really high, get the baseball field in shot. You know, making sure I'm well over those lights. And we're about there. Sometimes these are a little bit funny to line up the shot. It's not like your spark where it just does exactly what you want it to do. Okay, hit the circle function in the app. And yes. Okay. It is always strange the way it does the circle point. I, I've never really liked how a cheaper drone does that. The follow me function usually works a little bit better. Now it looks like we're really close to that light pole. We're not, we're really far away mm -hmm. from it. A lot of times you can make adjustments in the, uh, like if I pull back or forward with the right stick here, we can adjust how it does the circle function. But maybe this one is more of a panoramic shot. So there you go, it's gone around a couple times. I'm gonna stop that aim it back to us, fly it back here, and then we'll do a follow me. Whew, it looked like it was gonna hit the pole. It line was of, far away from Line of sight is so funny, isn't it? Yes. It is a quick drone, wow. Should yeah. we do a speed wow. test here? And now this is in GPS mode. Let's do a speed test. We're gonna go from right to left. This will be into the wind. You ready, Abby? Yep. Okay, so into the wind, full speed. 
I'm only giving forward on the right stick and it's not dropping altitude, which is really good. So that's into the wind. Cruising along at a pretty good speed. What you're really gonna notice is when we go with the wind. Are watch. there rates on this? No. Oh. Nope, there generally aren't on the Bugs GPS trends. Here we go, nice and fast, with the wind. Noticeable speed difference and nice and quiet too. That's what you get with those brushless motors that are directly driven and not a brushed geared motor. Okay, do follow me and I will give it a little target to follow. Walk through the field some. Hopefully I don't land in goose poo while I'm doing this. <laughs> and sure that wind I hit up. it in the app. And now it is gonna be struggling. Now look at that, it's doing the auto land, even though it's supposed to be following me. This drone wants to land, and I'm very unhappy with that. First Bugs drone we've had that's been nasty like that. Well, it is following me, but I keep having to give it altitude. So I'll go out here in the field and play around with it. Nate said all he's doing is adjusting the altitude of the drone. Gotcha. I know how to film. <laughs> he acts like I don't know what I'm doing. The drone is falling, falling, falling. It's about to hit the ground. It hit the ground. <laughs> Someone needs to worry about the drone and not the camera work. <laughs> oh, it's following you. Now when it hit the ground, was it in follow mode yes, or was it's it? it's been in follow mode the whole time. Well, it did a lot better coming toward you than when you were walking away. You know, the one issue that this drone has is that it wants to lose altitude when it's just kind of 10 feet or below. And uh, that's not good. Uh, although when you're flying far away, you're generally never that low. See, if we use that tree line back there, I'm dropping it right now, okay? But if we use that tree line right there as a marker, you can see that it is coming down. See that? Yep, it's down. I'll push it back up over it, hands free, and it just wants to slowly drop. I am disappointed, I'm very disappointed. See, we picked this drone out specifically because I wanted to be able to show you guys a good and what I would call semi-budget friendly drone. Um, we were looking at things that were under $100 and basically nine out of 10 were complete fails. The last like 50 drones just about. So I wanted to get something of a name brand that I knew was good. We've always loved our Bugs 3 and 2. They've been amazing. We've had a few, just a couple issues with the Bugs. I think it was the 8, the race drone. Is that yeah, right? Yeah, the 8 and the 6. Yeah. They're basically, basically the, the same, same drone. thing. And we've never had any other issue. They, then they came out with the Bugs 8 Pro and it was great. And I haven't had any issues with any other Bugs drones ever. But because this is doing the auto land thing, as here it goes, I'm hands free. It's not auto landing. It's it's not like in the app, it's no. auto landing. It's just losing altitude. Ah, there's our low battery. There's going to be your auto landing. But not yet. It'll actually low let battery. us fly for a while with this beep. So I'm going to step away for a second and just actually land the drone. Uh, let's hit the auto land. You know what? Let's do a return to home and then I'll set the transmitter away. We didn't even test the GPS return to home. So I'll fly it out here a little bit. The sun is going behind it the sure clouds is, isn't and it? I'm losing all my lighting. Okay, I'm going to hit return to home and see if it you may have to hold it. I think this. Uh, no, just a short press did it. Okay, I'm gonna set the transmitter uh, down. I gotta restart my camera soon, so sorry if this gets interrupted. <laughs> but you should have the screen recording and the app, uh, the app video. Well, I'm totally hands free. I'll I'll stand by the drone so you can see that. And yeah, the controller is actually on the ground behind me. Nate is right here. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and restart the camera. Okay, we're back. It has not landed yet. It's right there. See, Nate, hands free. All right, good job.
Well, it's pretty interesting. Uh, we had the sun here and now it's almost completely set behind the cloud. It just went away really fast. Um, oh, I'm disappointed. I really wanted to be able to say this is a good solid drone. They're still putting out good drones. But that's not a good drone when it just continually lands. Now, granted, oh, you know, 99% of the drone and app and features and everything worked as it should. But what a bad thing not to work, right? right. I could uh, I could deal with maybe a fairly short flight time or maybe one of the in-app functions like circle me, follow me doesn't work, but everything else works. It's a stable flyer. You know, you got to get the basics down and then work on the extra bells and whistles. If your drone can't hover and it's supposed to be able to hover, work on that and then throw in circle me, stuff like that. Um, this is a tried and true great transmitter, a tried and true name, but the Bugs 5W is not something that I would recommend. It's going to give you problems when you're showing off and telling your buddies, hey look, it's, it flies itself. It's actually landing itself the whole time. And uh, you know, if you're just out flying it for fun and you're aware of that, you can overcome that. Yes, I'm not saying this is like garbage or anything, it still has some value, but I think that we all should expect a ready to fly drone you should be able to hit the basic nails on the head and have at least a good solid hover we've been reviewing probably over a thousand drones now since we've started our channel I and mean, we've tons of drones hundreds of drones at least and we've never had a gps drone slowly auto land like that right i don't remember ever, that ever mm -hmm. if, if we have it's been years so that's a rare odd thing for that to happen yes we calibrated the uh, compass for the GPS flight. Yes, we did all the other basic calibrations and we've never had anything like this happen, especially with a bug drone before. So I'm a little disappointed by that and uh, it's enough for me to say hold on to your money uh, unless you want to support us on Patreon for doing what we do. You know, you can pick up some RC Sailor stickers and support us in the most direct way possible by clicking the Patreon link in the description box below. If for some reason you still wanna buy this drone, we'll have a link down there. You know, we do our best to link anything that we show in our videos for you guys to buy. If I have a, a shirt that you can buy online, then I'll have it linked. This one I bought in a store, so can't buy it. Just sometimes people ask. Um, yeah, it's actually a pass. I wasn't expecting that at all. But this is for you guys. This is for the thousands of you that crazy overwhelmingly requested us to not stop reviewing drones because you need an honest voice out there letting you know what's good and what's not good. I hope no one else has told you to buy this drone. It's a solid pass. Guys, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.